Hi lifestyle lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and my channel is called It's E Lifestyle. And I talk about everything on this channel um, as I feel is to have a good lifestyle from staying organized, to beautifying your home, staying healthy, keeping your skin healthy, because those are things that are important to me and those are things that represents having a great lifestyle. So if you have recently joined It's E Lifestyle, welcome lifestyle lover. This video is going to be about shelf decorating. I just recently purchased a entertainment center or bookshelf from Wayfair and when I first uh, purchased it I did not have anything on it so I had kind of been um, researching ways to decorate your bookshelf or decorate your bookcase. And I implemented a few of those ways into my shelf tips I used some of them I didn't but I just wanted to share that with you guys and I am going to insert some before pictures of pretty much where I started because we always see the progress we always see the end result but we never pretty much see where we started from or as we progress so I am going to insert some pictures of kind of what was in the space before so if you're interested in seeing how I styled my entertainment center bookshelf bookcase whatever you want to call it then keep watching this is a console cabinet from rooms to go that I had in the space before I purchased the entertainment center and of course this is the entertainment center with very little decor Okay, lifestyle lovers, just to give you a view of the completed bookcase, this is how it looks. And so on top of here, I have a faux plant that I purchased from Z Gallery. And one of the essentials of decorating the bookcase is it does says add greenery, which was a plus plus for me because I love greenery. And every space and so on the next shelf we have a large hand which is was which was an actually DIY project that I did on my channel this hand came from Z gallery and it was gold when I purchased it and so I spray painted it white because that is the color that I wanted it to be and these um, decorative spears came from Wayfair and another essential of the bookcase another is decorate in threes in odd numbers not necessarily threes but odd numbers so I did follow that tip for uh, this shelf as well and it also um, advises you to layer so as you can see I did layer adding the decorative spears to the hand and on the third shelf we have some decorative books that were purchased from Z Gallery and also this spear purchased from Z Gallery and then down here I have a vase that I purchased from Home Goods, and that is one of the very first things that I purchased um, to go on the bookshelf so that that has always been here and then over here I have a faux plant which came from rooms to go and I love 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 this faux plant I had been watching it for a long time and I finally found a place for it. So over here on my second book bookshelf, I'm just going to give you guys a view of the entire bookshelf. And this is a blue decorative piece that I purchased from Z Gallery. I actually waited two months to receive this, guys. And usually when I purchase something from Z Gallery, it arrives or once I get it it's much larger than I expected but that wasn't the case this particular time this is much smaller than I expected it to be so I have it layered on some books that I I did have these here in the beginning then I moved them to my office now I moved them back because I just since it was so small I felt like it needed to sit on top of something. So I did not use the um, decorating art numbers for this particular shelf, but I did feel like that decorative piece needed some height. 
And then I have this vase, which came from Z Gallery. And then I have a candle burning. It's not part of the decor, but it's there. And then down here, I have some more greenery. And this small pot came from Z Gallery and the greenery came from Pier One. And moving down to the last shelf, I have this decorative bowl. And my plans was to have that bowl and that vase on the same shelf. But like I said, when I get something from Z Gallery, it comes more larger than expected. So I didn't think this bowl was as large as it is. So it just has its own shelf. And I did also decorate in odd numbers, adding some layering as well as some decorative balls which this one came from Z Gallery and this one came from Wayfair. And so I'm very happy with the end result. I'm just gonna back up so you guys can actually see. Let me see, maybe this will be a better angle over here. So this is the finished look, you guys. I'm very happy with it. So this is the finished look. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I'm just gonna go over some of the tips that I came across for styling um, your shelves, which as I stated, some of them I used, some of them I did it, did not. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking down at my phone. I did find these on Pinterest. But um, one of the tips was uh, to go with a, a particular color scheme and as you see that I follow that because this this is my loft area if you're not familiar and it's just a different hue of blues um light blue dark blue navy blue whatever so um I did follow the color scheme as far as that part was concerned second tip was less is more and it states that a lot of small items can make a bookshelf look cluttered and that's not the direction that I wanted to go with my shelf. I wanted some items that really stood out and um, you guys know I am a fan of Z Gallery. Z Gallery does have a lot of statement pieces and conversation pieces so that's where most of the items came from and um, I do you know feel that it, it's not a cluttered look at all so that's another reason that i'm loving it and it says vary your height and i think i did a great job with that as well because i um have some short pieces as well as some tall pieces and the one thing the one tip that i came across that i did not follow was uh was personalized and um it says personalize your shelves with things you or your family love and so I don't have a lot of personalization in my home. So that's probably the tip that I did not incorporate into my bookshelf just simply because I, I just don't have a lot of personalization around my home anyway. And another tip was to decorate in odd numbers. And as you guys can see, I did that as well. Another tip I came across was to layer and I did layer it, adding the decorative spears to the large hand as well as to the, uh, as well as to the large uh, bowl, decorative bowl. And also adding the blue decorative piece on top of the books. So um, I think I did a good job on the book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, make sure you thumbs up the video. Um, comment, tell me what you think. Are there any additional tips that I forgot to incorporate into my bookcase? If you like it, if you don't. I don't have any problem accepting some constructive criticism. So that's about it, lifestyle lovers. I'll see you on the next video. I hope you have a great day.